Hey, Shalom, brother Ara, coming to you with another video. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son, through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all you Akim and you Aqua, those are the hopeful elect. And I want to bring out this article here, which I found to be interesting. It came out yesterday. It says, TheHill.com, FBI director warns of, quote, historic anti-Semitism levels. FBI director Christopher Wray said the U.S. is seeing historic levels of anti-Semitism with actions targeting the Ish community after the Hamas-Israel war, adding to a threat level for Ish's that has spiked in recent years. Quote, the reality is that the Ish community is uniquely targeted by pretty much every T word organization around the spectrum. And when you look at a group that makes up 2.4% roughly of the American population, it should be jarring to everyone that the same population accounts for something like 60% of all religious based H A T E crimes. And so they need our help is what the uh, director said. Okay. Uh, it says they're getting it from racially and ethnically motivated violent extremists, ISIS inspired violent extremists and foreign T word organizations. So they're getting ready to make their move. They are using their media to get the masses to fall right into their their plans as they get ready to come against us. Because really, what it is, they want to demonize and label us as terrorists. I'm just going to say it straightforward. Okay, and then St. Matthew, Yahweh Shai, spoke to the disciples. He told us, of well, he told the disciples of these things. And, every, and the scriptures say everything written for time was written for our learning. So, St. Matthew 5 and 10 says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It says, um, verse 11, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. So we're getting ready to see persecution on the level of lies against the believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're going to label us as, again, the T word. They're going to say that, uh, you know, we are a threat to society, you know, what we're into. Um, and they're going to they're going to basically try to make it seem as if we're carnal. You got these camps who have been, you know, posting videos of themselves with weapons, you know, fighting, being carnal is going to help them, you know, build their case. But the Lord is going to build our case. You know, those of us that are hopeful elect the true believers, because we know the Lord requires us to. Uh, hold our peace and just preach his word. Okay, but they're going to come against us and lump us up with these other camps. All right, but the Lord is going to be there for us. Now, I want to read this in the NLT. All right, St. Matthew 5 and 10 says, The Most High blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. And so we're blessed, which means favored. It says, The Most High blesses you. When people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and shall say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Going back to KJV verse 12 says, rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Yeah, the prophets were persecuted, lied on, you know. And you had many prophets in the past that were put to death for believing in the Lord. Yahweh Shai himself was, a, was the greatest example. So this is the path to the kingdom that we're going to have to go through, um, you know, before we get to the other side, meaning the kingdom. So we're rejoicing because we are in those times when the scriptures say uh, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Esau is not trying to give up that, um, that uh, kingdom, the, the keys to the kingdom. But he has no choice. All right. It's prophecy. But before he goes out, he's going to go out with a bang. And it's because the Lord is allowing him to do so. Okay. 
Revela Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth he have he knoweth that he have but a short time. So the elites, they know their time is running short. So they're implementing laws, um, ramping up their media and propaganda. And eventually they're going to move in physically. Some of us are going to be thrown into prison. Some of us are going to have to go before uh, the judges, um, before the courts. No, then the scriptures say, take no thought for what we're going to say, roughly paraphrasing. Because he's going to put in our spirit, in our hearts, or what we need to say when we are in that position or if we are in that position. All right. So this devil is making his move and preparing for um, to to make moves against the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. OK. Exodus 14 and 14. I'm going to close out on this. The Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. So we're going to continue to preach this word until the Lord says otherwise. We are a point in time where the doors of mercy is going to close and the Lord is going to take us off the highways and byways very soon. All we got to do is hold our peace and keep warning the people. The Lord is doing all the fighting. Look how far we've come. You know, all of our scoffers and mockers are starting to drop like flies. People are being exposed. All the spies and agents, the agent provocateurs. You know, scriptures say you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Everything, really everyone is playing into the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we sit back, do what we're supposed to do. Everything else is going to be ironed out. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.